maybe watch some videos about the um, human anatomy. Greetings one and all and welcome to another Deckard Games YouTube thing. Today we have another kind of uh, thing that I do for uh, family and friends and uh, things like that. Because we have this. This is a... Um, well, this is something. This is a... Uh, what? This is an Asus Essentio Desktop PC Model CP6230. Well, it is one of those oldish all-in-one uh, PCs. Because, well, now uh, I have the task of uh, making something that is super affordable for someone who just wants to browse the interweb. You know, go online, watch some uh, emails, read the news, maybe watch some videos about the um, human anatomy. Who am I to judge? But um, sure, these things are all over the place because this is like some uh, like a second gen. Intel or third gen Intel, uh, well, it's a gen, that I can assure you, <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know, around 40, 50 dollars, let's say it that, 50 euro dollars on the interweb, you can grab this without a hard drive, usually the hard drive is gone because of um, personal data and whatnot, sometimes with RAM, sometimes it doesn't have RAM, this one doesn't, so uh, we are going to um, take, care of, take care of that. It is, as you can see, a, a very small all-in-one machine. This is the uh, front. It is missing a door in there, but whatever. From the uh, Windows 7 time period, the Core i3, again, I don't know if it is second or third gen, but it doesn't really matter. Let me open this thing. I've already put in here some... Uh, Thumb screws because, uh, well, it's easier. Let's just open this thing. There you go. There it is. You can see, pretty small. It is uh, enough for uh, what it's meant to do. As you can see, there is no uh, optical uh, media drive, but uh, that is fine because nobody uses those nowadays. It is missing the uh, hard drive. We are going to put an SSD in there. It is missing the RAM down there, and um, we, are on a, we are also going to do some uh, upgrades because um, this uses, I believe this was a business machine, but uh, sure, it uses the integrated GPU on the uh, CPU. We are going to put a uh, discrete GPU in there just to, uh, well, not eat more uh, RAM. We are also going to put some uh, Wi-Fi uh, network um, USB thing in there. So yeah, it is a um, simple video of uh, upgrading a uh, somewhat obsolete machine and bringing it back for someone who again just wants to surf the um, interwebs and uh, that's pretty much it. With a limit budget of 100 euro dollars. So yeah, let's take care of that. And to begin the uh, taking care of that, we are going to use... Um, well, this is all new material, because, well, I bought it. We are going to use this uh, kit of 8GB um, G-Skill memory DDR3, obviously. And uh, it is more than enough for uh, what we want to do. For storage, obviously, a uh, SSD, a solid-state drive from um, Gigabyte. 240 gigabytes from uh, gigabyte again more than enough we are, will be installing tiny 10 let me know if you want to see a video about tiny 10 which is a um, version of course of windows 10 but stripped down to the bone with uh, without all the crap that is not necessary we are going to use this very simple thing a uh, wi-fi network uh, usb adapter ac uh, 30 1300, it is just a thing that you plug into a uh, USB port and hopefully <laughs> you get uh, enough uh, Wi-Fi. And I was also able to source this out, but I paid 5 euro, euro dollars for this. 5, only 5. I know it's old, but whatever. It is a discrete GPU with 1 gigabyte of uh, VRAM. A GeForce 210, which works with... Uh, 
Windows 10, so it is fine by me, and all of these things are new. The AIO right here on the side, the AIO, the AIO reminds me of water cooling. The all-in-one PC was like uh, 45 euro dollars, something like that, mm, something. And these were 50, 50 euro dollars here. So uh, that goes to 100, 100 euro dollars. So let's put these things, let's put these, uh, well, this will stay on the outside, but sure. <laughs> let's put these in there. So uh, yeah, so we do have to start by uh, Removing some screws, I see uh, two to the hard drive cage. Let's start with those. And two, I believe this, yeah, this just lifts. Huh. That's the, probably the only thing that I enjoy about these um, all-in-one machines is the uh, accessibility of things. Now to get to the RAM, which is in there, uh, there you go, now you can see it better, is in there. I can put it like this, without taking this thing apart, but sure. Let's, uh, let's do it anyway, I believe we have to remove this. So we have one screw in here, there's another one in there. Uh, I don't think I have to remove this one. So, uh, well, it's moving. Uh, I have to take the front. I believe I do. So, uh, sure. Let's take the front off. Not so accessible. But sure. There you go. Front is out. So, uh, does it come out? Ah, uh, we have a few screws at the front. So, uh, one, two, and three. Sure, let's remove those. And screw number three. So, I'm guessing this is how you put your uh, optical drive in there. There you go. Yeah, it is. We are not going to use one, but uh, there you go. Simple enough. It, it could be simpler, but uh, it is simple enough. Though so we have access to our... And by the way, the... Um, battery is working we have access to the ram so uh, let's take care of that like i said all the things that we are using they were bought new so uh, ram only goes in one way there you go one stick of ram and two sticks of RAM, just like that. Eight gigabytes of RAM, more than enough. Now we have our SSD, which I already, I already took out and put in this uh, adapter thingy to three and a half inches. Otherwise, well, it wouldn't stay in there like so. So uh, there's that. And uh, we just gotta screw it in there. So uh, it doesn't keep falling around. Yeah. Well, it's not easy to put this one in there, but... Ah, there we are. There we are. So one screw is in place. Gotta do the same thing on the other side. Ah, there it is. SSD in place. Just as simple as that. So this will stay up because we have to put the other thing in there first. Now we can put our uh, GeForce uh, 210, which I've already swapped the uh, brackets. It came with the uh, regular size bracket. And, uh, well, it looks new, like it's never been used, but... Uh, Sure, let's put it in there. So, gotta take the PCIe thing off. Ah, it has one of those all in one uh, bracket things. It only uses one screw. This thing, 
Now we can put it in there, like so. There you go. And we can pass this to this side. This is the uh, VGA out. And it stays like that. Look at that. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Now we got to put this uh, stupid thing back in there. Ah, there it is. Simple enough. Discrete GPU is in place. Now we are going to move this for the SSD. So let's leave it like that. We gotta put this thing back in here. Now we can plug our uh, SATA hard drive uh, thing cables. We are gonna put these in there. So they stay somewhat hidden. Look at that, beautiful. And we can plug our SATA cable, push this thing down. Ha! <laughs> Lovely. There's only a couple of screws more. And there you go. Look at that. I suppose we should put our front thing in there. So, uh, this goes in here. Ah, there it is. It's just, it's just that. It's in place. There you go. Look at that. In a instant, in a brief moment, we went from a non-working machine to a uh, well, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully working machine. And uh, I don't know. Maybe later I'll check the thermal paste in the CPU. Or not, we're gonna check the temperatures and whatnot. So, if everything is okay, I'll leave it like it is. So, uh, yeah, let's install a uh, let's install what? Ah, Windows 10, Windows Tiny 10. Let's install a version of uh, Tiny 10 in here and uh, well, see it if it's ready for the, for the interwebs or not. And uh, so, here we are. Let's uh, turn this thing on. By the way, this is here the uh, antenna because I forgot about it well I didn't forget because it doesn't go inside and I put it in the front because the front hey, there you go <laughs> because the front has USB 3 and not the back which is kind of weird but uh, whatever who am I to judge this so yeah it is at the front and look at that Windows Tiny 10 boots just like that man I love it it is I don't know man that's it's it's those kinds those kind of things that um, I really enjoy doing. Again, what more can you ask if you just want to browse the interwebs? It's just boots like that. Everything is fine. Is working just okay. So uh, yeah, ah oh, man, you know, SSDs were a game changer for uh, PCs. Yeah, we have a Core i3-2120, so it is a uh, second gen, but who gives a crap? It just things just open and whatnot, but uh, we have functionality, no thank you, sure. Whatever, okay. Now we can uh, go to uh, other channel. Yes, I accept that. Holy crap. And, well, things just just work. So, uh, there you go. Tiny10 is installed. I also installed Microsoft Office. So, uh, and it, it, is, it is pretty silent. Look at that. Audio goes through the GPU, HDMI, obviously. And, uh, it's a little, a little bit loud. I can watch myself in... <laughs> In some sort of a uh, narcissistic 
so way. I decided. And uh, again, man, it just works again. Something that you can grab on the. I'm not saying you should get something like this to play your games. I'm not talking to ourselves, gamers and whatnot, and PC enthusiasts. A family member comes up to you, hey, uh, uh, man, I want to start browsing the interwebs, but I just want to do that. I don't want to spend $300, $400 on a machine. And you can go online. You can grab a um, machine like this, an all-in-one. You can get fourth gen, by the way, by, by the same price, but I found this one. So um, I found this one. No, no, this was sent. Yeah, this was sent by a friend, but you can get it around $45, $50 euro dollars again usually without the hard drive the hard drive is the first thing to go because of data and whatnot ram sometimes it has usually it doesn't because you can reuse ram to uh, other things and you just can grab it new again for for uh, other 50 euro bucks and for 100 euro dollars you get a machine that uh, works absolutely fine if you just want to browse the um, the webs, which is the case, it is uh, it is fast, well, fast enough for uh, what it's meant to do. So uh, hopefully, this is uh, useful for those who are um, watching. If you uh, need something like this, or uh, a friend asks you for something like this, yeah, sure, I can go online and uh, source out one of these grab a few parts the discrete gpu isn't exactly necessary but well it is better it's still going to the system ram for a page file and whatnot but uh, whatever it has one gigabyte of video ram in there oh, amen again it works just fine this is uh, one of those things that i really enjoy doing grabbing an old machine and put it to not only to work but to be used by uh, someone it has wi-fi in there it's a fully working machine so uh, i enjoy it if you uh, and we're not going to play games obviously we can play some gog games no problem uh, whatsoever but we are not going to do that if you enjoy the video leave it a thumbs up come on man this is some consumer friendly uh, advisor kind of video so leave it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel your support is always very much but very much appreciated we recently reached 1 million views which for a simple guy doing geeky nerdy things whatever is awesome so uh, thank you for your support stay tuned for more um, videos different videos uh, i believe so uh, sure as always thank you for watching and until my next one please do and as always take care